Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I got melanin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got melanin. melanin. You bet. We got melanin. 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 We get it from my mama. What's up, Flavor Squad? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. It's a new year. Happy New Year to each and every one of my subscribers. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. You gotta join Flavor Squad. It's the best squad on YouTube. I'm sorry. Period. Make sure you follow me on all of our social medias. They will be linked down below in the description box. It's 2020. And in 2020, we're not doing the same thing we did last year, the year before that, the year before that. It's time to do better. It's time to do more. It's time to get what we've always wanted in 2020. So in this video, I want to show you how to have a dynamic decade. And I know you're like, what the heck is a dynamic decade? A dynamic decade is when you change, when you progress, and when you finally grow to your fullest potential. That's a dynamic decade. Dynamic is my brand. It's my clothing brand. This is the old dynamic. That was dynamic before I became dynamic. I had a friend who told me that design just looks like, you know, another brand. I was so upset I was so upset when they told me this but I thought about it and I said you know what you're right this lacked substance it lacked meaning and it lacked the growth potential that I really wanted my brand to have so now this has gone to this this is what I call my dynamic OG design this is the original this is where it started after I had to make some changes and change brings us to our number one point in dynamic in your dynamic decade you have to first change you have to change how you think you have to change how you move you have to change how you work if you are setting these goals for yourself the goals won't happen if you don't change you cannot do the same thing you did last year you cannot do the same thing you did the year before you have to make some changes whether those changes are changing the people around you or just changing things within yourself, you have to make the changes. Step two to having a dynamic decade is to progress. Keep going. Work, work, work at what you're doing. If your goal for the decade or for 2020 is to lose 100 pounds, go. Do it. Do what you have to do each day. All progression is good progression. If you're just taking it day by day, drinking water every day, taking a walk every day, you don't have to start off so big and go to the gym, get a gym membership. Start off soft. But make sure you keep building, 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 progressing, progressing so that you can ultimately get to step three, which is growth. Growth is where you see that change. You see that progression. You see what that has done for you. Don't let anyone get in the way of your growth. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's going on in your family, no matter what's going on in school, if you've set those goals for yourself, you have to change. You have to make sure you're progressing to ultimately get to your growth. And that's what dynamic is all about. It's about changing, progressing, and growing. It takes time. It really does take time. Last year for me, 2019, I feel like that was my year of change. I changed a lot about myself. I changed the way I think about things. And ultimately, now I'm trying to progress. I'm trying to do things better. I'm trying to make better steps to grow. I know where I want my brand to be. I know where I want to be in life. So I make the necessary changes in order for me to get there. It won't be easy. I'm not trying to tell you that having a dynamic decade will be easy. Having a good 2020 will be easy. It won't be easy. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take you knowing what you want. You knowing what you are capable of. It's going to take all of it. Even in your progression stage, you may have to make changes again. You may have to always come back to the word change in order to get to the word grow. That's what progression is. Progression is seeing what works and what doesn't work. 
progression is seeing what helps you get to your ultimate goal of growth. So I just want to come here and encourage you guys to change, encourage you guys to progress, and encourage you guys to ultimately make it to your growth. Okay? My dynamic wear will be available very, very soon. But I don't want to rush things. I want to have everything right. There are some designs that I haven't released. There are a, There's apparel that I haven't released. And I'm just taking my time. I'm trying to take my time so I can do things right. And that's what you want to do. Don't rush yourself. Don't rush your greatness. Take your time. Don't compare yourself to others. When you compare yourself to others, you think, oh, oh, I'm, I, I, I got to get this done now. I got to get this done now because they're doing this. She's doing this. He's doing this. I know I can do this. Take your time. You're different from everybody else. There's something different about you. So just take your time. Be mellow. Don't be impatient. That's something that I'm working on It's patience because I'm very impatient. But I've really been working on being patient because greatness comes from patience. Patience is a virtue. So if you made it through this whole video about the dynamic decade, if you have the steps to be dynamic in this decade, I want you to comment down below what your goals are for this year. What your goals are for this decade. Let me know down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of you guys with any encouraging words that I may have. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and may your curls pop and your grind never stop in this dynamic decade. Bye, y'all.